Do you often feel you spend more time searching for those things you need when working than actually getting your work done? I find this to be the case more often than I'd like to admit. When I notice this, I know it's necessary to take some time to organize my workspace. A well-functioning workspace frees the mind and allows one to move gracefully while working. Thoughts are more pleasant and everything just seems right. Let's create an elegant workspace that we look forward to being in and that's a true reflection of ourselves. This video was brought to you by our patrons and all those who have purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. Thank you. I want to welcome you if you are new and hope you will consider subscribing to be inspired daily to make the everyday beautiful. Hello and welcome back to today's edition of Ladylike Living. I don't always have things on rotation. I like to deep clean or organize something that I notice really needs to have it done because um, just sometimes depending on what time of year it is or if I have been doing a lot of work or whatever the case may be and I think a lot of you can relate to this that sometimes things just need to get done and we don't need to wait around for it to come back to that you know on the list of things to do so anyway what I'm sharing with you is a workstation so many of us are working from home and especially right now and um, I just think that it's important to reassess how things are working for you if you're working from home or even if it's a space that you do all of your writing to you know your correspondence with other people where you just your home office if you have a desk area it's good to just take inventory of what you have and if everything is being utilized to the best of its ability for me that meant that I have like these little drawers and things in my desk and I was noticing that I was keeping things in those little drawers that were exposed all the time that I never reached for. Um, it was a space that I was storing like ink for instance, the kind of dip ink that I use with my fountain pen and or my dip pen and um, that just didn't make sense for me because I really just use the gold ink or if I'm going to use 
another kind of ink I'm going to be using brown and um, it didn't make sense to have all the different colors in that little drawer. So I decided to start rearranging some things. I was noticing that I was using the drawer, like that wicker drawer um, piece of furniture that I have next to my desk for all of the things for my shipping, which I ship things out if somebody orders something on my Poshmark closet or if somebody orders something through my Etsy shop. So I was constantly reaching for some of those things, but it wasn't in the right spot for when I'm packaging a, one of my products or something, and it just wasn't set up right. Like I wasn't going to be wrapping anything right there at my desk. I have a very tiny desk. A lot of things have to be movable. Um, you will notice as I show you some overlays here, just some different things that I moved around so that, you know, it's point of use whenever I'm going to be using those kind of things. When I'm going to be wrapping a product, I want all of that over there on that buffet table, which I don't even use that buffet table for table linens or um, plates or anything like that. I have another buffet table that's inside of our, um, what do you call it, inside of our TV room, which I know, you know, it's not the best solution for it, but it actually works out better for me just because I needed a station to be able to wrap everything and to house all of my stationery. We don't often reach for the things that would be in the buffet table anyway. So it just made more sense to do things this way. But anyway, what I'm going to be sharing with you is what I decided to do because I have certain things that I need to have stock of, but I don't necessarily have a lot of space within my desk or around that area. And I like for things to look, um, you know, tucked away. It does not look very minimal, my desk. But you know what? It's my workstation and I use all of those things. And then of course I like to display some of the pieces of art that I've created, that I've made into stationery. It's just something that kind of motivates me to keep going, to realize that putting in that work is helping to, you know, help support the family. It's just it's motivating to me in some ways. And then also, um, I like to have little things here and there because they're just interesting to me. It's more interesting than just having nothing around. And um, there are certain things that I like to have, like a little reading corner where, you know, I have interesting papers to read. I have old magazines. I have um, the Bible over there. I just have newspapers and things that I like to read and a place that I like to sit. It's just a very cozy corner for me. And, um, you know, I like to have a candle there. And so I've just kind of created these little spaces where I actually use them the way that they're set up. So I found these wonderful seagrass uh, baskets almost they look like a bag and I got two from Target and I thought that these would be so much better to store some of the items that I've been trying to store by the fireplace area or that I've been trying to conceal and just kind of get out of the way I wanted to have a place to just kind of stuff some of the things that I need to have on hand near my desk such as a binder that I like to pay all of our bills through. I have um, our financial planner in there. I have other important papers within there. And then also I have um, letters that, you know, I've been writing to my pen pals and they write to me. And so I keep some of those things tucked away. That way it's at an arm's reach. And then that way I can reference them whenever I need to. I've really increased the amount of mail that I've been receiving recently because I've been doing um, more correspondence with others. I have mail that's constantly coming in and going out and I need to set aside time to be able to do these kinds of things. So I have a mail sorter right in my desk and it's front and center because this is very important to me. It's part of my work. It also houses some bills if they're coming in. And so every single week on my desk day, I need to go through that no matter what. But throughout the week when I'm doing some work, I also set aside time to be able to go through letters, to write people back, 
so on and so forth. So um, everybody needs to have their desk set up in such a way that it encourages them to get their work done. They don't forget about certain things that need to happen and that they need to accomplish and get to. And so as you will see, that's how I have my desk set up. And then along those same lines, I have my space for packaging all of my shipments set up just right so that everything is right there that I will need to be able to ship out my orders. You will notice that in the middle drawer of that buffet table on the top, I have a lighter over there. And there's a reason for that because I need to be able to wax seal my um, packages closed. And so I don't wanna have to be running around looking for a lighter when it comes time to package all of my shipments up. And then the same goes with um, putting the uh, label on. And so I need to make sure that I have all of the tape and just everything that I may need, I put right in those areas. And I, um, you know, just organize things accordingly. And then I have all of my stationery set up there. So whatever stock I have, I put right, right there. I have all of the ones that, um, you know, just the front of them, I have one standing up that way. I can see easily what is where. And I also decided to keep some of those papers that I like to get to, um, be it watercolor paper or anything like that. I have a stash of those things, just my overflow over in, that cabinet as well because I need to have a place to store it and it's out of the way and so I just think that it works out great. The buffet table height is perfect for packaging something on. Then I'm not leaning over really far like I was all the other places that I had been packaging. So this is something that I know will work out really well for me. I also want to make mention of this really neat inkwell that my mom just got me. It is so old. I don't even know when it was made, but it is so beautiful. It, I love the way that the bird is on the top of the thing that, you know, opens up for the ink. And we found this at an antique shop that it was my first time going into this particular one that we went into and we just found so many wonderful things there but it's a great addition to my desk i love having a space that i can put my pen and it's not going to you know roll all over the place before i was just setting it on a plate and um, i just think that this is a really great solution and then i also have ink available whenever i need it so um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I organize everything. One of the other things that I use underneath the fold down desk, which is a secretary's desk. This is by Ethan Allen. I found it on um, Craigslist, but it was just such a neat find when I found it and I absolutely love everything about it. So underneath, I usually keep the desk down, but um, I have two drawers underneath on the left side, I keep my journals, and usually, for some reason, I go for a blue. Blue journals, even floral print, but the background is usually blue. And then my agendas, I always have a blush pink color. So it's just funny, um, you know, the, the choices that I make in things, I, I see that they're very consistent usually. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this. I think that when we can create spaces that we just love to be in and that work well for us, they're going to look different than anybody else's space, but hopefully you were able to see maybe different organizations solutions that I've used that you know aren't your typical solutions um, but just using different things that you have thinking outside of the box of what can what can hide something away so that it's not too overwhelming for you like I did with that um, bag that seagrass bag um, different things like that and then also one other thing that I wanted to mention was I like to go on these artist dates where I will just get away from my home I will go off and I will paint or I will write letters or whatever I will do and then sometimes I usually throw in you know going to shop at maybe a paper store or um, you know just some 
artistic place or, or a craft store or something like that, something that feeds my artistic soul, or even just going to look at other people's paintings and going to a museum of sorts. But these are just special times that I like to um, have all to myself. And I love to have something to take with me that I don't have to shove things into my purse per se, but I have like a little briefcase for instance. So I found this white one at Home Goods, and I just think it's perfect because I don't have to worry about anything getting um, shoved around in there or misplaced or even just things bumping into each other um, like I do with if when I've put things in my purse before so um, I, I have paper in the binder that's just a little something that I have and it's always at the ready but then it also serves as a great space to keep those things that I use when I'm at my desk as well and I know where all of my paint supplies are and the papers as well so anyway thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments below if you you plan on organizing your desk space or whatever workspace that you have and if this was helpful for you I really hope that uh, you create a space that you love and that j just encourages you to use it and that um, you know helps you to be that much more creative so thank you so much for watching I look forward to seeing all of you later this week bye everyone <music>